Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name is Cougar and this is another episode from A Kiwi's Tinker Crate. I've got my buddy Banjo over here and uh, we've got another box in. There we go. Now this one here, as you can see, kind of the, sta the standard box sizes they usually have. And as you can see right here, it does say paper circuits. So uh, I'm guessing paper circuits, we're probably gonna be making some stuff. They'll probably be uh, little pieces that will kind of plug together and make some kind of a device. Let's see, uh, let's see what it says here. It says, wire up glowing paper lanterns. So uh, we can uh, make some stuff there. Uh, Banjo's looking at some information on the side, which I don't think I've ever mentioned that before, but there is a little bit of information on the side right here. Uh, I don't know if you can quite read that, if we're focused on it very well or not but uh, at least you can take a look at it if you ever get a box. It gives so. you all the things that are included in it. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Okay, awesome. All right, everybody, so here we go. This is uh, the spread out of everything we've got. We'll go ahead and start here with the uh, Tinker Zine. As you can see, the standard book that they give you gives you an idea on uh, all the things that are involved and uh, kind of the background to all the information that you're doing. Of course, these are STEM-based projects. Uh, lots of mechanical and electrical and and scientific kind of things um, now this one does say light it up and as it said we are looking at making maybe some paper lanterns um, they're talking about uh, electricity and how electrons move and things like that as well as some of these other things shows a few different uh, types of things that you can kind of study and look at it has uh, balloons in there for static electricity as well as a handful of other things in here. You have fish in there, electric fish. That's pretty interesting, actually. Uh, and then you've got a few other things. Uh, tells you different things that you can do and uh, gives you an explanation of each of those. So there we go with the Tinker Zine. Uh, let's go ahead into some of the parts here. Now we've got this uh, piece of cardboard, but you can see on the front here we have these kind of cutouts right here. It looks like a they kind of looks like tissue paper, don't they? Sort of like tissue paper, plastic. I think. Or maybe plastic, like thin plastic. Okay, and then they have like folds and stuff. This one on the front kind of looks like a flower. And uh, so I'm sure those are gonna be part of the uh, the lantern shape. Uh, what, we got? what is that, a ring? Um, it's copper tape. Oh, copper tape, there you go, copper tape. Uh, I have not used this before, but I do know it's very handy, very simple to use. Uh, instead of having to do things like soldering and things like that, you can use this stuff and uh, make your connections between uh, circuits and everything. So uh, definitely something very handy. Uh, something I've actually considered getting myself for some of the projects that I do. Uh, what do we got there? These are the circuit diagrams oh, Okay. Okay. Okay, so that's that looks like it might be part of the additional stuff, like yeah. the extended thing. So you can also it looks like you can also make these little looks like glowing eyes is what it looks like they're oh, doing. Yeah. Is looks like they're gonna make glowing eyes. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, see they correspond with the eye holes. There you go. So you've got a couple little robots that you can make little glowing eyes with this uh, project. Uh, now we do have a glue stick here. Uh, what is this? got some plastic pieces here I'm thinking these plastic pieces are probably what you use as a base and uh, oh darn yeah we've got one piece that's broken so uh, uh, you know we may have to see about getting that uh, replaced uh, here later on but uh, we'll see we'll see if we can make it work maybe we can just get a little piece of tape to put it on there and at least get everything together so that it works properly uh, I do know I have talked to the company before, so if you guys do have broken parts or missing parts, you can contact the company and they will make sure that they correct the issue. Uh, I, I, I've been contacted directly by them before uh, when they watched one of our previous videos, which I of course very much appreciate that. So there we go there. Hopefully we can get it to work. Um, it doesn't look like it's too awful serious. Uh, I think a couple pieces of tape maybe and uh, we might be able to make it work. Uh, now we've got this. Now this is kind of the bread and butter of the whole thing. And now you've got a battery, you've got uh, the plug-in for the battery. Now of course this is a 9 volt battery. And then you've got some, uh, let's see, we've got some diodes here. And then the rest of these are LEDs, which are light emitting diodes. Um, it's basically just a diode that produces light as well. 
Uh, it looks like they've got uh, white, red, green, blue, and yellow there. So you've got lots of colors to choose from. Uh, be kind of cool for your little robot eyes there, but also for the lanterns. This possibility, maybe some of this is going to be put together so that we can uh, have kind of changing colors or something like that. But we'll have to see once we start building. And uh, let's see, we've got, what is this? This is a bat. Oh, the foam, little foam stickies again. Of course, you know, use those a lot to uh, to put a lot of these uh, these kits together. And uh, we've got a black backer piece. Yeah, it's a big sticker. It's a big sticker. So you know what? We may be using the box that these come in on this one, um, and put this maybe on the box, and then building our things that way. Uh, maybe with the um, with the robots or something like that. We're not sure. We'll find out here in a little bit when we get into this part right here, which is of course the blueprints. Now of course you can see some of the designs and everything right there. They've got uh, a little bit of a layout and everything. And then as we open it up, there of course is some more information, shows uh, some of the shapes and everything. And of course the instructions are here on the back end. So let's go ahead, uh, Banjo and I will get to putting some of this stuff together and uh, see how we can get it to work and everything. Alright guys, well uh, here you go. Um, now there's still a little bit more that we can do with these. Uh, Banjo and I worked on, on these uh, together quite a bit. He did some sections and I did some sections. He did some little extra stuff, which we'll show you here in a second. Uh, but uh, here's the basic device here with the uh, copper tape here. We've got a couple resistors and, of course, the battery there. And then you've got the different designs that are together. Now, uh, we have them either taped or glued together. There was the glue. Um, I did notice the glue was a little bit hard to get it to stick right away to the uh, kind of the plastic pieces that these are. So uh, we did take and get some uh, cellophane tape, some clear tape here, and uh, use that. Now uh, we've got the three different shapes here, and we just so happened to kind of follow the color pattern that was in the thing. Uh, didn't actually realize we were doing it, so just kind of lucked out that way. But uh, Banjo went ahead and set up the discs here. Uh, each one of the discs has a different color LED, and then it has the uh, little sticky there at the bottom. Uh, we used a couple of the sticky pads to stick them to the uh, the little, I guess, kind of, you want to call these maybe sort of shadow boxes. Uh, they call them lanterns. Uh, the reason I say shadow boxes, I'll get into in just a second. But as you can see, the wires are across. So you take the wires, make sure that uh, they go across and touch the two flat sections. Now, because these are LEDs, they are diodes, uh, they do uh, only work in one direction. So if we take this and turn it around, there we go. So it will work this way, but if we turn it 180 degrees, it's still making contact. You can see the wires straight across there. It makes contact, but it won't work. So if we change it around to the other way, it lights up just fine. So green for the pyramid. We've got uh, blue for the kind of flowery looking cone, the cone with the uh, with the cutouts there. And of course you did need a set of scissors for this to uh, cut that out. And then the flower is a red. Now something that uh, we we're talking about with the black stuff here earlier on, the black tape, it does show it in the pictures here. Uh, and uh, for example on the pyramid here, it suggests you cut out little rectangles and stuff like that and pay, paste them across the bottom. It kind of makes it look like a cityscape. Uh, they say to, uh, it, it shows the line work on here, like you can make these petals look more like leaves by uh, kind of taking, and I would actually suggest using black ink, uh, a black pen or something, and drawing in like the center vein line and the few veins that come off of it to make it look more leaf-like. And then you've got uh, this one here, since it's uh, blue and kind of round like that, they show it having like little tiny planets and stuff on there, of which you of course can cut out of the, of the black sticky tape there and uh, just paste it around the outside. That way when the light comes through, it blocks that off and it looks like you're looking into uh, space a little bit. 
Now, something else that Banjo did here is he took one of the uh, one of the little cutouts here, the robots, and he went ahead and put eyes on it. Now, there is the circuitry design on the back here, and it does have the resistors there. And just to clarify, earlier on I said diodes, and uh, that was only because when I first looked at them, they were very dark, and I thought that's what they were. They're actually resistors, so just to correct myself there. So, but since we have uh, the resistors already on this piece, we set it up so that two of the wires from the uh, LEDs are uh, just down so we can take the piece right here and just set it across. It'll be the other way. And there you go. He just has it so you can press it against the back here. And you just have to make sure the wires are lined up and uh, make sure that they're touching properly on those copper points. And of course the lights light up there. Now. Uh, there are additional pieces in here. There are some more resistors and stuff So of course you could tape the resistors onto the back here and then you could uh, You could add another battery if you have another connector or something like that and connect it or even touch the battery directly to the back there and uh, Make it work that way. So so there you go And of course these do have cutouts here so they will fold and uh, go into a shape uh, that's going to be in probably the Tinker Zine here if you want to uh, follow the instructions a little further with that. All right, guys. Well, uh, pretty, pretty, uh, pretty nice. Uh, it took a little bit of time getting stuff folded together and, and kind of put together, but uh, for the most part, pretty nice. Um, obviously, we did have the uh, the broken piece here, but it's held together very well. Just put a piece of tape on the front and on the back, and then just trimmed it out so that it's in the right shape. Uh, so, of course, you know a little bit of a little bit of adjustment there but like I said if you guys do want to uh, make sure that you have something good here uh, you know if you have a broken piece and you don't want to try and fix it yourself definitely get a hold of the company they uh, they do seem to be very willing to correct any mistakes that there are when there's something wrong with a box uh, all right well I think this is gonna wrap it up I give you kind of an idea on what this can do you can do a lot more with it I think and uh, you know make it your own you know adjust it as you like but uh, this has been another episode of a Kiwi's Tinker Crate here on World of Me. My name is Cougar, and this is my buddy Banjo. And uh, we're going to go ahead, obviously, take it out from here. Uh, if you guys want to check any of the uh, Tinker Crate stuff or any of the Kiwi Crate line of uh, products, you can go down there in the description below. We'll have uh, a link to that down there. You can go to their site and check it out. While you're down there, don't forget to check out our social media. And while you're headed down that way or on your way back up, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And there's also that subscribe button. The one below the video there, plus the little bell icon. If you connect that uh, bell icon there, you can set it up so that you're informed of when we have new videos coming out. Or if you'd like, you can always hit the little subscribe button that's gonna be floating around somewhere over there. All right, guys. Well, I'd like to wish you all a good day. And I will see you later. Bye.